Hello there, this is Carl and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. So today we're going to be doing a little tornado, a little twister, uh, nothing special. Uh, we're going to try and do, show you a basic way of doing it. Um, and when you, you know, you've know learnt this sort of technique, then you can apply your own sort of take on it. Um, your own colour correction, grading, um, whatever you want. So we shall begin. So first of all, I downloaded this um, texture. Uh, from Google, um, it's just a storm cloud, nothing special. Um, and this is what I'm going to be using uh, for part of my texture on um, my tornado. So let's jump straight into After Effects. If I can, and I'm going to create a new composition. Uh, keep it about 10 seconds long. Uh, I must warn you, my mouse is knackered at the moment, so if it looks like it's um, not selecting. Don't worry, it's because my right mouse button is absolutely buggered. Okay, so let's begin anyway. So I'm going to start by creating a new solid. Um, I'm going to make it comp size and I'm going to go OK. And then I'm going to come up to effects. I'm going to come up to uh, sorry, stylize, wherever it is. And I'm going to come down to, um, where is it? Uh, Sorry, simulation. I do apologise. That's a bad start. I'm going to come down to CC Particle World. I'm going to click on that. And once that's done, it's just given us um, a basic uh, little particle animation here, um, which we're going to modify. So, first of all, we're going to sort of um, open it out just a bit like that. So, we've got it like this. And I'm going to open up my physics. Um, and what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to bring my gravity sort of down, like so. Um, and I'm going to bring my velocity until it's sort of straight like that just like that and then I'm going to open up my producer um, and I'm just going to play around with the positioning uh, what we're trying to do at the moment we're just we're just sort of creating the core um, if that makes sense of the uh, tornado so um, that shall do just fine um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to um, effects I'm just going to color correct this very very quickly uh, I'm going to go to curves and then I'm going to get my um, sorry my blue channel and I'm just going to play around with the um, just to give it a bit of a white sort of look let's just play around with that so that will be fine that's cool like that okay so then I'm going to import okay so first of all let's create a new camera I'm going to keep it 35mm and I'm going to select that there and then I'm going to go and then I'm going to import my uh, texture uh, two seconds now let's go to desktop and I'm just going to import this texture here and I'm just going to drop it below my um, my background and then I'm just going to rename this um, I'm just going to rename this texture just so I know where I am and I want to name this one um, sorry go back there I'm just going to rename this one uh, core so this is what we like the core and I'm just going to put that just above my um, my core like that so if I switch it off now um, it's basically just like that now um, I'm going to set my camera and basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sort of uh, play around with where I want to sort of place um, a tornado like that, the core like that maybe sort of bring it forward like so and what I'm going to do is with the texture selected I'm just going to get my pen tool um, and I'm going to just roughly draw sort of like a tornado sort of shape if that makes sense nothing serious like that nothing serious just a little tornado shape like so and then I'm going to switch my texture back on like so I'm going to hit F on the keyboard and I'm just going to feather it out like so I'm just going to feather it right out so um, it's sort of, as you can see, it's starting to sort of look like a tornado now. 
um, but we've got this thing in the background which we'll, we'll deal with that in a, in, a, in a moment you'll see what we do with that okay so now the cool thing about this if if we go to our effects panel um, I'm going to come to um, the core and then I'm going to go to effects okay I'm going to come down sorry come to distort all the way down to uh, turbulence displace and that's going to displace the uh, center core so if I sort of move that you can see the core in the middle sort of moving as well but what we're going to do is we're going to do the same with the uh, texture as well so I'm going to go to distort and I'm going to come down to uh, turbulence displace and when we move this we can sort of manipulate um, the um, outside the texture as well but first of all I'm going to click on my core and I'm going to just open that up for a second and my transform and I'm going to bring the opacity all the way down all the way down if I can because it's a mouse Right, so, so as you can see we've got sort of a tornado um, look um, here uh, click on my texture and then we can sort of manipulate um, the look um, of this as well so once we get this what we're going to do is we're going to select both of these um, and then we'll come up to uh, layer and we're going to pre-compose uh, them two and I'm going to call this twister and just so it's named move all attributes into new composition click OK um, and then that won't be touched so now what we can do we can sort of play around with um, where we want the uh, tornado to be placed but obviously you know you want sort of um, an animation to that so let's just go to the transform and let's just play around with the scale of it and we're going to come I've just got a little background I'm just going to uh, sort of pop it in um, just so you can see some sort of definition yeah so let's just get my little background plate here I'm just going to drop that in and there's my little background plate there and I'm just going to get my twister and sort of put it into a position so about there now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reopen that comp and I'm going to go to effects I'm going to open up my texture this mouse button is just driving me up the wall I'm going to open up the turbulence displacement um, and as you can see you know we can play around with the displacement of the, of the tornado as well so what we're going to do is I'm just going to hit the stopwatch on that um, I'm just going to bring that to the end of the 10 seconds and, and just push it up like that so, so we've got sort of a subtle bit of uh, animation there as well um, displacement I want to open this up and I want to select it to twist like so so now we've got like a, a twist effect I'm going to hit this uh, displacement and I'm going to bring this all the way to the end like so um, and then I'm just going to hit this little stopwatch here and I'm just going to bring it back so, so we've sort of got a little bit of animation there now guys it's entirely up to you um, how you um, add this to your comp how you um, sort of add, add the effect to how you want the tornado to look um, obviously I'm trying to show you this guys with just with, without no plugins um, by just using After Effects on its own but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come up to effects on this one I'm going to come up to distort and then I'm going to just add the um, turbulence displays to that as well so um, we can do a bit of animation with that as well so as you can see we've got some uh, sort of spiraling um, thing there but once we come up here we're going to change that to twist and now we've got like a twist sort of effect as well but obviously you know just play around with how you know the positioning um, of the tornado and obviously how, how you want it to look I mean it's entirely up to you you know tornadoes uh, sort of look different all the time don't they they don't always look the same so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit the stopwatch there I'm just going to make sure that we've got our um, everything sort of uh, the evolution set um, and obviously we've just put a keyframe in 
Uh, I'm going to bring this to the end of the timeline because um, we did a bit of animation with it before, didn't we? And I'm just going to do the twist thing as well, uh, which is giving it a little bit more um, of a sort of whirly sort of uh, look there. Uh, let's just go to half frames for now. Okay, so once that's done, obviously it's down to you how you want to color correct. Um, but first of all, as you can see, you've got a, a little bit of harshness. Now the harshness is for, uh, to me, comes in handy when you want to add um, certain elements because obviously if you've got a tornado here, uh, you want destruction on the ground. So, you know, if you've got a pack, for instance, like um, uh, Action Essentials, I'll just give you a little example. I'm just going to import something from uh, Action Essentials now. Uh, bear with me for a second. This mouse is causing my computer to have problems. Um, I'm going to go into my documents, uh, my Action Essentials 2, uh, and let me just go to Debris, for instance, and just let's just select the first one. Um, and then I'm just going to drop that in there. Um, and sort of put that into position here maybe sort of scale it up just a touch to match the uh, tornado and as you can see when it's moving um, it does give a good effect it really does not only that what you can do um, if you wanted um, you create a position on the cable uh, on the camera okay uh, bring it to the end of the timeline of the the animation you got and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna hold down um, shift and I'm just gonna select the both here and I'm just gonna move everything over here like that and let's just recreate that position sorry let's just put that there for now very quickly um, let's do the tornado first okay so let's get our uh, debris and hit P on the keyboard. Um, hit stopwatch. Okay, bring that to the end, like so. And I'm just going to move the debris, say, and uh, and the tornado, say, over here. So as you can see, you know, when it's sort of moving, um, it's animating together. And it's just giving you that little bit of a, you know, feel that you know the tornado's destroying the ground. Um, as it sort of passes over obviously you're going to want to you know put some destruction here but guys look it's entirely up to you how you would you know add your assets and add your destruction uh, to your tornado but you know we might need a bit of um, if we open this let's add a bit more um, let's add a bit more let's go back to effects click on twister let's go to scroll right down and let's open this see what we've got in here uh, anchor point's fine like so okay so that is looking not too bad now obviously you know color grading is a different story um, putting as much destruction in the path um, of this tornado as you possibly can uh, but like I say guys you know it's entirely up to you how you do that now what we're going to do quickly is we're going to make these um, a 3D layer and I'm going to make the Twister a 3D layer as well and I'm just sort of going to, sorry, I'm going to select all of this, uh, this, sorry, press the wrong one, uh, this and I'm going to select this and I'm just going to sort of bring it into position here, maybe sort of scale that up to about there and then with that you can add some more sort of destruction to that um, sort of how you see fit, you can sort of put, push it into um, its own space. Let me just select the, um, the debris. Let's just scale that up a bit. Um, and you can sort of put it, you know, like it's sort of moving upwards um, across something, or it's entirely up to you. Obviously, this is not perfect, you know what I mean? Because it, you know, as you, as you know, it does take a bit of time. And also, you know, you, you're going to want to play with your, uh, you know, your dis, uh, displacement, you know, your uh, turbulence as well. Um, how you want to animate it um, to make it as realistic as you possibly can but obviously you know it's a scene where you know this is going to take a lot of time uh, once you've done that what I would do is I'll click on my camera and then I'll duplicate my camera okay and then I'll select uh, shift and then I'll 
select for instance the twister just come out of that twister camera let's make twister All right, let's put this camera to above that now actually let's put camera one above that one and let's select this oh my god this mouse and this 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 and then come up to layer and then re pre uh, pre compose that as well um, with, with all attributes um, and then what you can do is you can get this this and then you can duplicate that layer uh, let's duplicate that and you can get this and say put this one up here you know you can sort of duplicate it again if you wanted um, and you can sort of bring this off so it looks like you've got uh, loads of sort of tornadoes sort of affecting but I would have um, destruction here as well um, on the floor you know sort of following um, where you're going and then what we can do is we can go to new uh, let's go to adjustment layer and then with that you can go to effects and just play around with your, you know your color correction uh, so on and so on just to get it looking how you want to look how you want it to look basically so yeah it's just it's just a quick tip guys just to sort of you know get you in the mood get you in the flow um, and get you sort of uh, making quick sort of tornadoes um, obviously animate them properly because that just looks fucking stupid um, uh, making tornadoes uh, within After Effects so and that's using no plugins as well um, obviously the only plugins we're using is the Debris um, one uh, but that is um, about it as well um, for what we're using so guys as always I hope you found this interesting and you've enjoyed this quick tutorial uh, thanks for listening guys and I'll see you in the next one ciao ciao